Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Began Red 94. We are back with another video. And today, y'all, honestly, I cannot believe I got to make this video. But um, I've been avoid talking about this for a long time. But um, we're going to get into it in a second. But if you are new out here, drop a like. and greatly be appreciated. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys turn on that bell notification so you know I'm posting another video. And we jump straight into this. So, bro, it's official. I don't know. I mean, I'm quite sure everybody probably know by now. But if you don't, it's official. Apparently, it's Omnia Games that's confirmed that we're not getting no no dlc for spider-man 2 and honestly they did drop a blog and this is why i'm here reading the blog i'm just gonna skim over it because i want to see it see it for myself because i'm not gonna lie to y'all i didn't believe it when everybody was telling me like bro it's true go look i did not believe it bro and i don't even understand how did this blog slip out of my hand but let's just go straight into it okay so spider-man 2 is coming in pc next year i mean we already kind of figured that i mean most playstation 5 exclusives they come to PC within like a year or two, so yeah, exclusivity don't be that long. Okay, we are once again. Okay, so it, oh, it, 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 it's gonna be on PC on January thirtieth next year. Okay, once again, we're happy to share the PC version is being developed by uh, optimized by our friends at Nixon's Software in close collaboration with Insomniac Games, PlayStation, and Marvel Games. Okay, so they're just talking about basically everything that's going to be coming with the PC version of the game. All right. It's just, man, I'm going to get my thoughts on that in a minute, too. If it, like, once, like, you know, I actually read this for myself. Okay, you got the digital edition of the game and the standard edition. Let's see. Okay, villains. Okay. Okay, Spider Man 2 is a collaboration with Peter Parker. We already knew all that. Wait, wait, wait. So, wait, right here, right here. While we have no additional story content planned for Spider-Man 2, we are delighted to bring the previously PC version or the previously released post-launch content to the PC version of the game, including new game plus, new suits, color variants, photo mode features, and more. What? Damn, so it really is true. I just had to see it for myself, bro. I, I got to get my thoughts on that. Honestly, bro. I can't do nothing. I mean, I'm, I am very sad and disappointed because, bro, Spider-Man 2 is, like, my favorite Spider-Man game of all time. It's probably the best Spider-Man game of all time, in my opinion. But um, it's really sad, bro. Like, I, and I understand why they kind of had to do that because if y'all haven't really been, like, paying attention lately, I mean, they did just had a huge security breach, breach leak, leak from last year and early this year for um spider-man 2 and the somnia games to show all their game plans from future games and everything i seen the venom game i mean i didn't really look too much into it it just it was kind of hard not to see it hell even uh, it's so sad because the game ended on so many cliffhangers so many like like with the stories it was story um i can't even talk straight the side quests and everything like it's insane and honestly that does kind of leave the room and the door open now because we all know what's insomnia games next like their next game that they're working on and that we're, they've been radio solid on since 2021 when it was first released and we're gonna get into that now too wolverine okay is wolverine made by the insomnia games we got a tease about that back in 2021 which we all know that's insomnia's next game they already been confirmed they're working hard on it but if y'all haven't noticed bro we haven't heard nothing about Wolverine since it's been announced. It's been about almost four years since we heard anything about Wolverine since the release. Well, not the well, the, you know what I'm saying, the announcement. So I'm really curious. I'm quite sure this is their next game, their next big game that they're going to reveal. And honestly, mark my words, I feel like we should be hearing something about Wolverine pretty soon because of how long it's been. But it's also another article that I want to get into called what Insider Gaming, but they basically confirmed saying that it's an insider saying that according to like we're just gonna go straight into it okay let's see we're getting a look a new look at marvel's wolverine next year before or oh, before the end of the year they predicting it before the end of the year i doubt it honestly i feel like early next year and then we might not see the game until 2026 at the latest or the earliest okay so, okay sony and insomnia are gearing up the show fans more will ring soon interesting and mind you this is not the only article like i seen that people been talking about this like this has been this has actually been you know take away the grain of salt but this has actually been like 
a little rumor that I've been seeing for a couple months now since we done came into 2024 that Insomniac Games should be showing Wolverine pretty soon. And I mean, it makes sense, bro. Like I was just saying, they've been radio silent about this game for four years now, to be exact. So ever since back in 2021, the last official dope, like really hype PlayStation Showcase was when they showed Wolverine and Spider-Man 2 and then the same, you know what I'm saying? So it's been that long, bro, since they said anything about Wolverine. So honestly, bro, like I said, take away the grain of salt. You know, nothing is confirmed, but I truly believe that this actually could be true. Y'all know how I feel about leaks, though. I don't really too much talk about it. That's exactly why even when the security beach on the Somnia games, and I've seen, I've seen game, I've seen game, um, gameplay footage on this on, on Wolverine too. Why is why why is Somnia games not striking these people down? Or like PlayStation Sony, somebody like. And, and, bro, to the hackers who did that, bro, I really hope that y'all get hit by a bus. I hope that you wake up and a brick fall on your toe, something like, like, why, bro? Why? Because I'm quite sure if they did not do that security breach, we probably would have heard about Wolverine, and we probably would have got DLC for Spider-Man 2, bro. But there is no confirmation for, from PlayStation or the Sunday games that, okay, the new look of Wolverine is coming. So despite the source being accurate in the past, please take this out. Okay, the same thing I said. Take this with a grain of salt. Something until something is announced or inside the game has confirmed its legitimacy. Inside their games and PlayStation have been real quiet in an official cut. But yeah, like I literally just said this. And the la latest news that players got players in a massive leak. Same thing I was just talking about. Security breach back back in late 2023 and early 2024. See, I was just talking about this. And also, like I said, I don't know how, but you there's still Wolverine pre-alpha gameplay footage online in YouTube. How? Like, I don't understand how these people are doing this, but, bro, it's... I really feel bad for Insomniac Games, and it really it really is sad because I'm like, they're, whoever doing this, bro, they messing it up for gamers, bro. These people already work hard and put in like all the hard work and money and blood, sweat, and tears just to make games for us that we love. And they had they should have to go through stuff like that, bro. And then on top of that, since all this stuff is happening, it's putting a pause on games that could have already been out by now.